Cozy Home fam, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, my name is Shamika and this is Cozy Home by Sham. Go ahead and click that like button and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so. All right, guys, so before we go any further, I want to just pause to acknowledge and celebrate the small wins that Cozy Home by Sham has been experiencing off camera, first of all. Y'all see the branding, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so I have wonderful news. Cozy Home by Sham is now officially registered. It is an officially registered business. By the way, I'm holding a paper here because I don't want to publicize my middle name. But yeah, I want to just pause to just thank God and celebrate the smaller wins you know until cozy home by sham gets bigger and bigger and reaches more people but for now i am really really proud of the steps that i've taken i never thought i would actually muster up the courage to start youtube let alone start it and now cozy home by sham is an officially registered business so i'm really really thankful for that by the way i will talk um a little bit more about what the business is registered to do and all that cozy home by sham will be offering as a brand but that's for a completely different video um, before I move on to what I know you guys are anxiously awaiting I want to pause to also thank you guys for your tremendous support we are on the road to 3,000 subscribers over here on YouTube in such a short time and I am really really grateful for all your support for every video that you watched commented on liked I really really truly appreciate it from the bottom of my heart especially those of you that follow me over on Instagram and TikTok. you know I see all your encouraging messages and the way that you interact with my content it really means a lot and I appreciate all the love and support you guys get a lot of the behind the scenes so you hear that if you're not following me on Instagram and TikTok, then you're missing out so go ahead and follow me over on Instagram and TikTok at cozy home by sham but yeah guys we're almost at 3,000 subscribers and that is a ridiculous amount of supporters for little old me I am truly humbled truly truly humbled and can't say how appreciative I am of all your support so thank you so much all right my loves so let's get to the meat of the matter which is this week's video so for this week's video you would have already seen from the title that this is part two of an airbnb renovation project so in this video you can expect to see a quick diy project that we did on the bedroom furniture also the completed tv wall that we did the tv built in you'll get to also see snippets of me starting the decor process and i know you're really excited to see that so without further ado let's head on down to ochi let's go his Instagram here on screen that's Jazz Inc. one he said so I put it on screen just in case I'm not saying it correctly so you guys know where to find him but I'm gonna allow him to tell you exactly what we're going to be working on today to continue the project for the TV wall in the living room so what, what are we working on today? So today we are going to try to finalize the project mm -hmm. so we're going to do a little bit more boarding mm -hmm and we are going to look at plastering okay to complete okay all right so let's do that Wall as well the left side of the TV wall 
So I have my 2x6 boards, my paintbrush, and this polish shade that I'm going to be first testing on the board to see if I like it. And then we'll continue on in the process. So there are also some markings on the boards that I need to get rid of. So I'm going to be sanding it down and then I start the staining process. I've already tested the stain on this board just to see if I like it. So I'm going to go ahead and sand the other piece. So guys, that was day one of week two on the project and we're now gonna skip to day two of week two on the project. So um, you'll now get to see us do a beautiful DIY on the furniture for one of the bedrooms. So I would have actually loved to have sanded down all the furniture for each of the bedrooms, but for the master and the third bedroom, I believe, they had furniture that was a little bit newer than the room that we opted for so the client wasn't completely open to sanding those down because they are a bit on the newer side so we opted to go with the bedroom that has furniture that's a bit more dated so she didn't mind the change my preference of course would have been to do all the furniture in each of the bedrooms but you know we have to go with the ones that she's comfortable with and so that's what i'm about to show you before I show you that though, you will see a change of scenery. Um, the owner decided on moving the furniture up to Kingston. That way it would lessen the commute a bit because we've been going back and forth to Ocho Reyes quite a lot. So uh, she brought it closer. That way I, for ease of access, I'd be able to get to it a lot faster, complete the job and then transport it back to Ocho Reyes once it was time for us to start the decorating process. So I'm excited to show you this DIY project so keep on watching let's go so this is the nightstand before the sanding process and so what I'm about to do is to spray on this easy off oven cleaner spray to strip off the varnish or any paint that is on the nightstand that way we can sand it down and get it back to the natural wood texture yes i said oven cleaner and i know many of you might not know that this could have been used but you're welcome okay it works a lot faster on furniture pieces that just have a stain on it this one took a longer time because of the varnish and the paint that was on there so i spread it on and left it there for at least an hour and then went back to kind of scrub to lift the sticky surface so if you're wanting to try this DIY and you're working with a furniture piece that um, only has a stain on there, it's very easy to do. Just spray it on, leave it for 20 minutes. And if you're working with a hardwood furniture piece, then you can wash it off and you won't have to worry about ruining the wood. But this one, we couldn't wash it um, and it took too long to get it off the way that I wanted it so Nicarda came in with this grinder tool that we used to just skim the paint off after we had already removed the sticky surface or a couple layers of the varnish right here I'm just removing the drawer hardware that way I can go ahead and start on removing the varnish from this drawer as well 
This of course is a before picture of the nightstand and this is the nightstand all sanded down. I ordered new hardwares for the drawers. Those will be installed in next week's video for the final reveal. Okay, so that was the sanding process. How are you liking it so far? Make sure you're commenting. I want to hear your feedback for everything, okay? So that was day two on day three now. I was on the hunt for primer, paint, and a glaze to do the finishing look on the furniture. So the look I was going for for the furniture, of course, was to maintain that light, bright, airy feel. I didn't want to take it back to any dark color at all. So we're sticking to the light um, color and still try to maintain a bit of the wood texture. And so that's what I set out to do on day three. So I stopped by the paint shop. That's actual name of the store. If you are familiar with it, I stopped by the paint shop to get primer and paint. And I was also, like I said, on the hunt for a glaze um not a stain not a varnish a glaze a chalk glaze that way i could put it on top of the base after painting it and then brush it to get that wood stroke but child tell me why i could not find a glaze anywhere in jamaica it was a quick one too to just hop on amazon and i found one but of course it was too late and it would have delayed the project severely so that was not an option so of course i had to pivot and go back to the drawing board inside the car to figure out how i was going to make a glaze from scratch yeah so I immediately started to brainstorm while I was in the store. The lady told me that she had no clue of what I was talking about and I went to several other stores. So I'm pretty sure it just was not available or maybe I just did not go to the right store. But I immediately started to think the glaze must be made from some sort of paint. Can I just use paint and just add something to it to create my own glaze? she was clueless okay she had no idea as to what i was talking about or how i would even achieve making the glaze so i thought you know what why don't i just go back to the car do a quick google search a quick youtube search and figure out if it's even possible to make my own glaze from scratch and lo and behold i figured it out went back inside the paint shop and purchase the ingredients so i purchased a regular um flat paint and also something called floatrol so the floatrol i would have added to regular paint to kind of thin the paint out a little bit more um to make my own glaze and so that's what i did child let's go ahead and take a look at the process so guys, this was the paint card that I was looking at to choose the colors. I chose Favorite Fudge and Vanilla Love. So Vanilla Love would be used as my base paint and Favorite Fudge to make my glaze. So to avoid having to apply too many coats of my base paint just to cover the raw wood, I decided to prime the drawers first and then apply my base color. So the purpose of the base color guys is to act as the color that peeps through after applying my glaze. So this is the base color that I'm applying now. Once I put my glaze on top of that, I'm going to use very light strokes and then brush that through. Brushing it through will create streaks like wood and of course you'll get to see this nice cream color peeping through the brown color that I chose. So to create my very own glaze, I used regular flat paint in the color Favorite Fudge and added this Floatrol mixture to make it nice and silky and a lot thinner. That way once I brush, you'll easily see the base color peeping through. So this drawer has already been primed and painted with my base color. So as you can see here, I am lightly applying the glaze that I created. And then I'm going to go in with a scrub brush, just like that one, and rub. And as you can see, you're seeing the base color peep through really nicely to give it a nice wood texture. To get a lighter color, you can always choose to brush a lot harder or apply a lot less glaze, but this is how it turned out and I am absolutely in love with it. Sound off in the comments, let me know what you think. Yeah guys, so that was how I achieved the look and successfully made my own glaze. I am loving the results so far. By the way, I want to say a special big up to Moment of Peace, that's her TikTok 
handle um go ahead over there and follow her as well i saw um a diy that she did to um a nightstand in her bedroom as well so i kind of got some of the idea there in terms of the technique and i'm not about you know learning from somebody else and not shouting them out so shout out to moment of peace you saved me so for day four week two we went back to ochi to continue on the tv wall building this time we went down to install the wooden shelves and also transport some of the items that I purchased online and handpicked for the space so you'll get to see a quick snippet of unboxing for all the home decor items that I handpicked for the space. Let's go! So this day I came down to Oturius with a ton of packages to unbox of all the decor pieces, beddings, curtains, like so many things to assemble like uh, lamps, the standing lamp for the living room, a whole lot. So I was pretty busy here unboxing as much as I could. Of course, that's Nicardo working on the last coat of plaster for the structure and then we head straight to installing the wooden shelves. Okay y'all, this is the structure all done up and just waiting to be painted. By the way, the stuff on the structure, I was just playing around with some of the decor stuff that I brought down and where I would position them, so don't mind that, but yeah, that's how it's looking. That's it for day four, so let's skip straight to day five where we get to finally finish up on that TV wall built-in. So now we're going down to apply uh, the last coat of uh, plaster and also paint the structure. I get to also finally start on the decor process. I know you guys, you're not seeing all of that in this week's video. The final reveal is for next week, but I'm loving it, so I'm gonna give you guys a quick peek into the process of me decorating the living room and the master bedroom and then you'll have to wait for the rest next week. Let's go! Here's the structure finally getting painted. I did not choose a white paint even though it appears white because white in the space with everything cream and having darker colors I think would stick out like a sore thumb. So I went for a grayish white. So I went for a gray color that almost looks like white. I don't know if this is translating on camera but right here I am super pumped, super excited because it is my time to work some magic okay i have finally started the decorating i'm taking down those curtains and replacing them with lighter brighter more beachy textures and tones and i was having the time of my life okay <music> To add a layer of cozy texture to the space, I went for linen curtains. So linen curtains make your space feel very light, cozy and soft and also I went with sandy textures, well sandy tones for the curtains as well. Um, for that middle piece that I showed you, this is uh, another one of the linen curtain and that's the backing of the curtain in terms of how it would be mounted on the rod. This one is a little bit different but but, you know never mind it will be the centerpiece so it can act as the focal piece the choice of going with lighter brighter colors of course was not only to help the space feel a lot lighter and more airy but also to bring some of the outside in of course if you're familiar with Ocherios and you're not from Jamaica then you know 
Ortrius is a hot spot with a lot of beaches that this villa is very close to. So to choose brown tones and sandy textures was kind of playing on the sand from the beach and take it on inside the space. Um, right here I was trying to add a plant in the corner just to add some greenery. It was a bit low there so I added a riser later on just to give it some more height. And of course, just to add another layer of texture and visual interest, I am working in woven textures into the space also to warm it up and help it feel a lot more cozy. Also continuing that beautiful beachy vibe inside the home through throw pillars as well and if you notice I went for very soft subtle blue colors and very soft sandy tones just to make just to ensure that the space remains light and cozy remember the space already has a really bright uh, teal color accent wall so we didn't want to go back with that same bright teal in the couch I went for subtler tones just to maintain that light airy feel in the space Because this is a high traffic area, especially that the home will be listed on Airbnb, I did not want to go for a rug that would have been easily stained, so I added a nice jute rug to the space, also to work in those woven textures to warm up the space as well. Okay, so that's a quick peek of the living room so far. Um, in the next video, you'll get to finally see me style the coffee table, also the TV wall shelving, you'll get to see me do the dining table, the kitchen area and so much more so be sure to come back for the final reveal video next week but in the meantime i'm gonna give you one last peek and that is the master bedroom the start of the decor process in the master bedroom also i have swapped out two of the recessed lights in the ceiling um, above the nightstands in the master bedroom to install beautiful boho hanging pendant lights that i know you're gonna love so let's take a look at that all right guys so this is the electrician aldin he was actually taking out the recess light from above the nightstand to replace it with the boho hanging pendant light that i purchased for the space <music> These pendant lights turned out so beautiful and elevated the room in the best way possible that was much needed. Of course at this point I'm super excited because it's now my turn to come in and swap out the curtains and get started on the bed. So I'm going to do less talking now and let you enjoy the process.
that's the bedroom so far guys I have not styled the dresser yet which is why you haven't seen the entire room next video you will get to see me style the master well the dresser and bring in a nice jute rug inside the space as well so make sure you come back next week for the final reveal okay guys so that's it for this week's video thank you so very much for watching if you made it this far my love, you know, love you guys so very much for always coming and watching and supporting my content and again come back next week for the final reveal where you'll see the reveal of all three bedrooms the living room the dining the kitchen all the bathrooms all the good stuff so make sure you come back next week for that don't forget to like comment share and subscribe share out the content to all your friends and family get your popcorn get your juice get your snacks and come back next week all right remember to put god first in everything that you do i will see you guys in the next one bye